Hey guys, welcome back to K Mains Jams episode number what? 39? I think this is 39. This shall be 39. If it isn't, I'll be labeled something else and you already know. But, anyways, I did some things behind the screen before I started recording this episode. Actually, I tried to record this episode yesterday, but it did not come out right. I showed you uh, at the end of the last episode that I started working on this, which I am going to call the Green Dragon Villager N. Kind of based on the Green Dragon from, you know, that favorite movie, you know, The Hobbit's Shire, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. So, it is almost the same design as the Green Dragon, but in order for it to fit in this particular area, I had to zig instead of zagging, so it's not the exact thing. Actually, this part is supposed to, this part above my head is actually supposed to go back towards the rainbow, but you know, I have something there already, and it's not an exact rep replica, but it's just based on the building, so it's no big deal in my eyes that I have change the layout of the green dragon and also above my head there right where that dirt is and maybe even a little bit closer to the building i'm gonna put a hobbit hole and hollow out this whole hill behind here maybe even bring it out over here and put little holes and doorways in there and storage facilities or whatever i may find useful like um potion rooms or whatever in there but that is also for the future um so i'll come back to this in a second that I should say and let me show you um, <clears throat> what I have done let's go to, over here to the tree farm first a couple episodes ago I was working on the smaller part of the tree farm the part that um, like I have this section here um, the tree farm where you come out and you got the the two the double wide you know the you can make the big trees here yeah yeah make the big trees Oops, so I have four of those places, and they're excesses. Oh god, I gotta turn off auto jump. Um, go into these chests. So, so same sort of setup back here. And I'm growing some acacia uh, to help with the building of the green dragon over there. Um, but this tree farm, it should be interesting. Um, I don't know if these will all pop off, but I set up some of the redstone. So let's let's see if it will all pop off. Yeah, all, all the <laughs> all the um, saplings did plop off, but you get an idea of what I'm talking about here. Um, you you hit the button, all the things go down, and then I can go across here and just chop down the wood pretty easily, um, and that would be great. And there will be water streams. I've gone over this already before, but uh, let me show you what the redstone is because you know when you hit a button, it's only a temporary pulse. So I'll show you how to change that. I don't know if it's the best way to change it, but it's the best way that I know. And that doesn't mean much. So I have the button above here somewhere. Um, actually right here on this purplish block. And it, and it um, lights that thing, whatever, and changes its torch off. So it switches the th thing and I inverse the signal here. So it when I hit the button, that will turn on and it will send the signal to this. I think this is a uh, more latch. So basically, if there's a block in these three droppers, somewhere in these three droppers, there's one block and there's um, a hopper there to go back in. So it basically cycles through the whole thing. And when the block is here, it sets off a signal to this comparator because the comparator will read the block is in there, but I think the block is up here right now. So once it gets moved here, this will turn on, which will turn on this line, which moves all the pistons back up. So instead of having the pulse, this makes the signal from a pulse to a standing signal, so it will always stay on and off. It's pretty simple once you get to know it. But so that's why um, it stays down. And when I hit this, it'll all go back into a uh, positive state. So all the pistons right now are actually. Um, powered so once this is powered and the block and the pistons are extended this line goes around here and basically um, it goes to a repeater to extend the line obviously if you know anything about redstone you can't go a certain amount of blocks without adding a repeater to strengthen the signal again and then I send it down here and each uh, piston you see here is you uh, 
power the block underneath it and the piston will extend. So in order to power the block underneath it, you have to have the um, repeater going into it. So I just have this line of redstone going behind all the repeaters so they all turn on at once. And what Slynn did, because I um, am basing this farm off of something that Slynn did, um, who you should watch on Twitch TV, he has a YouTube channel and does updates every once in a long while, but uh, if you want to watch Slynn, go to Twitch TV. But what he did, he changed the outputs here so and added an extra repeater here to get another tick so all the instead of all the um, pistons firing all at the same time they kind of go up in a line you can watch them slowly move across and then back over here but i don't i mean it's cool but it's not a, an effect i really need so i decided against doing that um and over here i just had the line go underneath that i could have moved it around but you know just straighter doing that and um same thing over here and what's going to happen here is where this block is where all these blocks are are where the um water goes because when i'm done cutting down the trees and instead of having to sit around and wait for the saplings i can just turn on the water and then the <clears throat> water flows will bring this is one of the water flows will bring all the items to a chest that i have stuck over here um to be collected at a later time so you don't have to really wait around for the thing so i'm basically going to have the water stream somehow bring everything over to this spot and have a little uh, elevator like kind of like this one back here just go on a couple of blocks um to the chest right here so i can <laughs> here's some of my supplies for doing the redstone down here um so basically uh there's going to be a button on the opposite um tower over here and that line is going to go this way instead of the other way just to keep the lines as far apart as possible and it's going to come over here and go to all the droppers that have water in it so the water can go so there'll be um basically two blocks here um a redstone signal into here you need a repeater right there to charge this block and seeing that the block is charged it will charge the the uh, dropper above it and also with uh, I'm gonna have a redstone signal on this block and then a repeater charging this one so we'll continue to signal down this whole path and seeing I have four paths of hoppers no maybe it's just three paths of hoppers um, I just got to do three lines of redstone and basically other than the water streams which might be a little inventive I might have to do some uh, research on these water streams to get the products from over there to right here. Maybe I'll just use an ice water flow or maybe I'll just use hoppers. I don't know. I don't want to waste the hoppers, but I do have an iron farm. Yeah, right there. And uh, wasting hoppers isn't um, as big a deal as it used to be. So the design of this building, I have decided, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure... I'm just going to recreate this other building. I said I wasn't going to do this originally because I wanted something inventive back here, but I'm really having a hard time coming up with ideas on how to connect these two buildings. So at this height, I think I'm going to just um, basically make this a uh, recreation of this building at the size of this rectangle here and have it only go up to that height and stick the pillars again on top of that and fill it in with the glass of the different trees and stuff and maybe have a separate entrance out back here just so I don't have to go all the way around the building to enter this place. But um, <clears throat> at least this building's finally getting some attention because I made this section probably in the first 10 videos of this series and I haven't come back here at all really other than the other episode to show, tell you that I was going to be doing this. So um I'll show you, you know, I'll build that in an episode, and it's probably going to be an episode before the 50th episode. And there's something else I wanted to show you that I've done when, since the last episode. I love running through here. I should change these blocks. I'm going to not make it. I should change these blocks um, to the same blocks that I have out here. You know, so it looks, because I have just smooth stone in there. I haven't really changed up the blocks, and I really have to. Uh, I'll make it look a lot better through that tunnel. Um, so the other thing is over here, I'll just go into the nether real quick. I'm not even going to cut because right as soon as I get into the nether, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. 
yeah, well, there it is. I changed the way up to the gold farm. Um, hey, horsey, horsey. And um, I seen, you know, I got a gold farm. Well, follow the yellow brick road. So it's basically what this is. So that's what you do. You follow the yellow brick road and it will bring you to the gold farm, which I, um, I still got to fill in that couple of blocks down here. But you, you've seen, you know, the snow crash, no uh, gold farm. When I go get the um, goods out of the chest and run this way, the pigmen are still actively trying to get me. And um, what happens is they run off the edge of the gold farm, not where they're supposed to run, but <laughs> in a different location than normal. So every once in a while I come up here and I grab the XP and it looks like it gave me two because I started the episode with 69. <laughs> XP. Do I, eh, have I been putting the stuff in this chest? Nah, I'll just hold on to it. I'll just put it in my main chest. And also something else here. You've noticed on this gold farm, I mean, on this gold and iron tunnel, there's a button. So you got to hit the button, right? So another little sneak it, sneaky passageway here. And I wanted to utilize the newer bricks. So I was just messing around with them and came up with this little design that is kind of hauntingly um, scary looking. And I use the um, soul sand because this little tunnel, I don't know if you've seen this before, uh, comes to this, which is my Chi Chi wither killing area. So if I don't want to kill a wither in the proper means, I can just place a soul sand block there, then three across here horizontally, so it doesn't have to be vertically anymore, and just put the um, heads on here and Believe it or not, he gets stuck up there in the platform, and when he does explode and die, these blocks don't get hurt at all because all the damage is being done above the roof of the nether there. And I was kind of happy that nothing gets damaged around here because right underneath this is one of my tunnels. I also went to the Mega Taiga where I can get the Podzel. So I got a few stacks of Podzel here. And I got some more uh, nether quartz so I can finish up my uh, super secret project over here because the stairs are quartz. I'll give you that hint. Um, it's a check, I wouldn't say checkered board pattern, but the um, secret project is black and white basically and some red and purple because there's a portal. <laughs> it's, but um, yeah, so I got some uh, podzel, which is something that I've been waiting for. Um, but I had a hard time finding where the podzel was in this world. So I could um, work on the kennels or the stables over here, the kennels. I'm thinking woofers. Because <clears throat> I started working on this. I kind of finished the build, but I never really actually tweaked it out. I mean, like this area needs to be worked on and stuff. Um, but, you know, I was going to change out these wooden blocks for... Um, something with Podzel and, you know, having coarse dirt, normal dirt, let's see, a mushroom, soul sand, mixing all the dirty, even, you know, some jungle wood in there, just to make things look more like a kennel. I may even put some pistons in the floor. That would be a good idea, actually. Hide some lighting behind that. And I can really finish off and make each stable look a little bit better than it does right now. I, I kind of made the building outline for this and kind of gave up on it. So let me know um, what you want me to work on in future episodes, what you want to see in this, because I would like uh, to find out what you guys want to see, because I'm just doing projects without really knowing what you guys want. So tell me, what do you want me to see uh, finish? And remember, I still have that guardian farm I got to do the walls on. And if you have any ideas of what the walls I should put on there, um, let me know because that would be a great thing to work on also. I just definitely got to get some blue wool and more lapis and stuff to make the walls blue because I kind of want underwater scenes for the walls of the Guardian Temple. But we'll see. So tell me in the comments below what you want me to work on in the next couple episodes and I will start doing that. But for now, I'm going to tinker around a little bit and possibly show you some work and possibly show you some finished products. Alright guys, I'm finishing up the roof 
or to finishing up the basics of the roof for the Screen Dragon Inn. Um, let's, see, let's see. I'm going to change it up, give it a mustache basically, <clears throat> to make it look better because I don't want this all. Um, I was going to call it pineapple wood. <laughs> I don't want this all jungle wood. But basically, let's see. Uh, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four. There. I'm going to place a. I'm going to place a fireplace in the middle of this area and have the chimney go up there. Um, there's a place for a fireplace right here for the chimney to go up and also um, if I can get out of here I forget how to get out of here there will be a chimney where I marked it up there um, but I, I obviously gotta put some more expression into this building it's basically the shell let's see I don't want the whole building to have this I was gonna say it again pineapple wood the jungle wood everywhere. I gotta enter place other types of wood in here like um, What is it just I don't want to put in spruce wood, but the regular oak wood I will put in partially with the the roof on this because um, the roof is pretty plain Jane. I mean it has a lot of little bows and stuff and Stuff like that, but it's still pretty plain Jane, and some of it doesn't quite work. And I am not a hundred percent sure if I like coming out of here and seeing a roof. So we'll see what I can do about that. I was actually thinking of taking away the roof on this side, or covering up the roof on this side with the grass, so it's almost like this hillside enveloped the. Green Dragon Villager in, but uh, I don't know. That seems a little weird. So what I'm gonna do um, is give this building some expression, give it some feeling. Um, add a chimney here, add a chimney probably there, add one over there, and definitely there's gonna be one here. This is gonna be the main fireplace of the place. Um, but that's all gonna take time, and it's not gonna happen this episode. But I want to show you what I kind of mean when I say give a little expression. I worked a little bit on the inside of the stable over here, what I kept on calling the kennel in the earlier clip. I just added like a little variations to the floor, um, even in the stables themselves. Um, do I have any with me? Now you know what I gotta do? I took out the excess horses and tied them up out here. Hopefully they figured out what's up with the leads and I don't see your lead, but I'm assuming it's still attached to the thing. So you guys are all attached. Um, hopefully they fixed the problem with the leads uh, always disappearing when you logged in and out. I want to uh, get one more thing to the stable to Give it a little extra oomph on the inside, then I gotta start working on... Oh, I don't know where I have those. Aha! There we go. Always gotta have the cob <laughs> cobwebs. So there's a lot of expression, or putting the mustache on the building, I should say, to be done with this building, and also the stable. And uh, we can do that next episode, focus on decorating. Because I haven't really done much on the decorating. Usually when I have a building, I show up and hey, there's a building already decorated and um, I never really showed off the process of it because it is a bit tedious and it's a bit of, uh, you know, like placing something and walking back and going, oh, does that look good or whatever. And I still got to work on out here. So putting a little extra something into a building um, is is a great thing to do but it's a little bit tedious because or it's hard to really get it recorded properly because it's not something um, that is recordable <laughs> well I should say you can't really record it that well 
I guess some people can, but I, I don't. Maybe I should learn on how to do that, and that's what I'm kind of doing here. So, um, most of this is going to stay how it is on the inside. I'll be adding other things like little um, places for the horses to drink and stuff. Uh, maybe fill, take out some of these uh, blocks still and switch them out a little bit to give it a little more. Oh, do I have any stairs on me? No. Give it a little, a little more change. I know I do have some stairs down here, so let me get a couple of stairs running real quick because I uh, overmade. I was initially going to make the roof on this building out of stairs, and I realized I did not want it to be 20 feet taller than because you can't even see my sheep farm now, which I'm a little upset about, but I kind of knew it was going to happen. But this was the perfect place to put the green dragon in, so that's where it ended up being. Um, Let's see. I can get rid of that. Oh, that's not even a stair. Hmm. Lovely. So that's a stair up there. So um, let me take the stair out. Just give it a little variety so things kind of catch you on the side. Um, catch your attention a little bit. Um, and that's basically what I'm going to do here. Um, I do want to say, now that I've kind of finished up the video, let me do my thing. Um, what did you think of the thumbnail? Um, I had a new thumbnail out on Sat Friday for my hardcore series, and I have a new thumbnail out for this one. Um, I'm trying to change things up, I'm trying to brand the um, my channel a little bit more, because... I, I'm seeing really no growth, and I'd like to see a little bit of growth, because I do enjoy doing this, and I would make videos for uh, no growth at all, which I've been doing for a little while, but it would be nice to see at least a little bit of growth, and um, I haven't really been having any of that, so I'm trying to rebrand myself a little bit better, and I just kind of want to know, do you like the new thumbnail with the image of me in uh, 3D, because I did... Uh, bring out my old version of Cinema 4D where I had a rig for Minecraft where I can just uh, animate people, you know, kind of like the Captain Sparkles thing. But I'm not really good at animating. So, you know, I can make a still frame and I decided, you know, I'll make a couple of still frames and I'll move my body around in different places and throw them up on different thumbnails. And I'm hoping that they um, look pretty good. Um, so, again, next episode we'll do some adding perspective and mustaches, some some personality to this building down there, finish adding personality to this building, and then um, maybe start working on the hobbit holes. But till then, have a great day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Please remember to subscribe, like, and tell your friends about this. Um, I think I do some pretty decent builds, and I would like to uh, grow the channel a little bit because you know it would be fun to have a crowd to hang out with and have fun with and also starting this week is also elemental fury from uh, Athens MC so keep an eye out for those videos and streams so follow me on beam KMA's corner and if you want to know everything that I'm doing um, I do have a Facebook page I don't actually go there but everything that I post online that revolves around this channel gets posted there and that's about KMA's Corner. So Facebook about KMA's Corner. But enough of that. Have a great day. It's Keith. KMA's Corner, of course. <laughs> Have a great day. Have fun. See you later. Goodbye.